Rahim. Does using cold water benefit a person and is this for wudu and ghusl? Bismillah rahman rahim Yes. Using a cold water is very good. It is very beneficial both physically and also spiritually. Physically, I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's enough to say that when you use cold water, don't overdo it. Of course, you don't go to extreme, but you know, when you're washing your hands or wudu, or sometimes you're taking a cold shower even, it makes the body more alkaline, not acidic, because our body is very acidic, and in today's diet, that we are eating, it's very acidic food that we're eating from the sugars to the salts to the meat to the sodas especially, which all these things is not good, sodas especially, but the other things to take in moderation. And the disease, it thrives, it becomes very strong when it is in an acidic uh, environment. So to take cold shower, it makes the body to become more alkaline cold water it is good spiritually because a shaitan is made from smokeless fire and holy prophet والسلام, gave the advice saying if you are angry if you are standing sit down when you are angry and you are standing sit down meaning to cool yourself down because when the son of Adam is angry shaitan is circling through his every vein it's circling the blood pressure goes up, the temperature goes up. It is not a good uh, station for a man to be in, in every way. Both physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it's no good. If the man is angry for the sake of Allah, that is different. He's not really angry. His heart is not angry. He may be using it, but he's able to control it. That is something else. It is not anger. It is a majestic uh, appearance that comes to him. And Holy Prophet says to get rid of that anger and the shaitan, if you are standing up, sit down. If you're sitting, lie down. And if the anger is still there, go and take wudu. And our Shaykh says, go and take wudu with the cold water. Pray two rakats and the anger will go away, inshallah, slowly. So, there is a lot of benefits for that. Cold water, if you can do it, do it. If you can do it for the ghusl, do it too. It is very beneficial. Uh, of course, these days, people are too spoiled. They're using warm water. Some, they're using warm water even to make a ghusl. But I remember Shah Fendi telling us what Shem of Lana said. Those people who come to him for Fajr prayers and they walk through the cold. And I remember that always because when Shaykh Afandi first came here to this dergah and we used to pray uh, Fajr in Shaykh Afandi's house and in the winter time, especially in the first few years, we had three, four, five feet of snow. I'm not kidding. And it was very cold and to walk from this, from the Dergah area to Chef and his house, if you are wet, you move there, maybe it takes two minutes to move, everything is frozen. Your beard, everything is frozen from the water. And I always remember that, remember that when we're walking in the cold, what Shem of Lana said, Chef and he remind us, Shem of Lana is saying, MashaAllah, to those ones who are coming to us, walking through the snow, and the ice and the coal to pray with us. And we pray that on the judgment day and beyond, you will be protected from the cold fire of the hell. Because hell has two parts. The heat, extreme heat, and the extreme cold. So, the intention is important. Make the intention with the cold water, you're not liking it so much, say to your ego, good, Ya Rabbi, this is as much as I can do. I'm taking the cold water and I'm also remembering so many of my brothers and sisters everywhere else in the world that they don't have comfort, that right now they are freezing. They don't have enough food. 
And I'm remembering that and I'm praying for them and I'm saying shukur ya Rabbi. So even that simple act there, it'll be very beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that simple act of using the cold water, you start thinking, you start making tafakur, you start giving hamd, you start giving shukur, you start praying for other people, so many things. Just a simple action that we are doing. So inshallah, if we can do that, we'll be good. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.